What's up, YouTube? It's Chalula's Comics, and I am here bringing you part two of my CBCS haul from San Francisco Comic Con. Um, that's right, you guys. I submitted a ton of freaking books at San Francisco Comic Con. Um, they weren't all from that same con, but I did submit a ton of books there. Uh, to be honest, my first um, my first submission there was like 33 books total. Um, but again, that was because I was helping some friends out. You guys seen the books from my first video. Uh, they came out from my first submission from there. I think I had like 17 books total that were mine. Um, I got another nine back today in the mail, along with a couple of other buddies' um, shipments. My buddy Mario got a, a nice little shipment, and uh, uh, one of my cousins got a couple of books back from San Francisco Comic Con. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to start showing some books. Just wanted to uh, show my theme off really quickly. Um, in the back there, I'm showing my Walking Dead covers, my Walking Dead, The Whisperer Wars, Arthur Adams signed connecting cover variants. Um, and that's because at the end of this video, I got some uh, some nice uh, connecting covers that I got hooked up by my boy Mario. Um, and I'll show those off at the very end. Um, so I wanted to show off some connecting covers. Um, on the far left, I got number 157, Walking Dead number 157 and 158. Um, those two were my favorite just because I got me shown on the cover there. Um, the one that connects with that is... The cover that has Jesus on the cover. Um, I left out 159 and 160, not because I don't like them, but I only have room, as you can tell, in the framing for four books total. Um, so I cut the middle out. So I ended up dropping Rick and dropping Andrea. Um, and I dropped them for Carl on 161. Um, he looks like a badass right there, and I really like the way he was drawn. And um, and for Negan over here on the right-hand side in 162. Um, so again, that, that's a six-cover connecting variant, but... Um, I, I wanted to show my favorite of four of the six books off. So there they are. All right. Without further ado, let's get to the books that I got back from San Francisco Comic-Con. Um, first book up on the roster. And I did, I've already seen all these books. I did look at the grades and, um, had a couple of concerns and mostly with this book here. This is, um, Venom number one. It is signed here on the bottom by Bill Sinkovich. It's another one of the uh, Marvel hip-hop covers. I really, um, if you guys know, I, I really went ham on these hip-hop covers. This one came out in 2017. I believe they started coming out in 2015. And uh, they've been going pretty strong since then. Um, this was uh, a cover by Bill Sinkovich. I got it signed here by Bill on the bottom. Um, the good thing about these hip-hop covers, um, unlike all the other covers, is, um, you know, Marvel was doing these swipes basically of album hip-hop covers. Um, and so they're doing cover swipes. They're paying homage to... A lot of um, cool albums. Uh, I'm a big hip hop head. I love hip hop. So for it to be a cover swipe of some of my favorite albums, or at least some of my favorite artists, or a combination of some of my favorite artists, favorite albums, and favorite musicians, it's, it's freaking awesome. It's a great opportunity for me to have this, these kinds of things in my collection, things that I love, things that I'm passionate about. So um, really cool. Um, and something that I really like about these books is the fact that they're cover swiping albums. You really only get art from about the bottom of my thumb here to about there. And you got all this extra space. You got this nice landing strip right here for all the signatures that you want. And you got another nice black bar full of landing strip, full of signatures that you want. Um, here um, on the top right hand cover, they've been putting all of the uh, people that have worked on the book. So you got Costa, Sandoval, and Omara. Um, you know, of course, Sinkovich did the uh, the cover. The art inside was done by Gerardo Sandoval. And uh, the story was by Costa, uh, Mike Costa. This is a cover swipe. Actually, well, let's start from the beginning. This is the first appearance in Origin of Lee Price's Venom. It does cover swipe Prodigy and the Alchemist's Albert Einstein album cover. Um, and let me just tell you guys before I share the great... Man, I'm pissed. I don't know if I got to talk to CBCS about this or not because... I don't know if I did that. And that little ding there, um, it's actually a cover breaking ding. Something either landed on the book or gouged the book and took uh, the ink out of the cover. Man, it really knocked this book down because before that, this was an easy 9.6 to 9.4. Easy, easy all day um, candidate. But it came down an 8.0. And, you know, I'm I'm not all about grades. I'm really not. You guys see, I, I collect stuff and I slab it just because I love having it, preserving it. Um, as is, I don't sell stuff in my collection. This this stuff is mine. You know, I, I love my stuff and I take care of it. So in that respect, because I take good, such good care of my stuff, 
Um, you know, I'm kind of concerned to, to the grade, but oh well. You know, it is what it is. I, I just I want to kind of get to the bottom of how that happened. But whatever it is, what it is. Um, anyways, on to the next book. Um, this is Scarlet Witch number one, released in 2016. This cover swipes Eminem's Relapse album cover. Um, his is supposed to be just his face with a bunch of pills, like kind of fading out of the background. Another classic Bill Sinkovich um, type of story, or excuse me, type of uh, um, cover art. Um, I got Bill to sign them down, sign it down there. Let me know what you guys think about the way that I went about it. My my line of thinking was, like I said, we have two nice landing strips. We have one down here, and one up here. I left the top blank on every single one that I do. I always get the cover artist to sign on the bottom, just because. You know, it's kind of cool. I like the landing strips. Um, I think it's cool because you can still have the signature there. It doesn't take away from the art. It doesn't interfere. You're not like covering your entire book and your entire cover art with this big signature. You know, some of these artists have um, really strange or kind of ugly looking signatures. Bill Sinkovich, I think, is one of the nicer, cooler looking uh, signatures. Um, so I don't mind his at all. I really like his. Um, but I left this top open just in case i ever someday get the opportunity to run into eminem man i'll have a sign i'll have him sign it up there if i ever get to run into in a prodigy and alchemist I, I, i'll have him sign it up there you know what i mean that that would be my that would be my overall goal that's what i would love to do or you know have done but i don't know let me know what you guys think um and if i don't then still i got my signature right there and i'm all good um so those are the first two books just got a few more I think I said nine total. Um, so let's see what's up next. Uh, next, I got Contest of Champions number one. Another nice Bill Sinkovich cover. And actually, he didn't work on this one alone. This one apparently was done by uh, Dennis Cohen, uh, Bill Sinkovich, and Chris Sotomayor. Um, really cool cover. You got Maestro fighting on, uh, fighting. it looks like uh, Iron Man there. And it looks like Maestro is holding... Uh, Holding Captain American Shield. If you guys don't know who Maestro is, Maestro is basically um, it's Bruce Banner's Hulk um, in an from an alternate timeline where Banner lived to be the only living human being on the face of the Earth because of uh, that Earth was destroyed by nuclear warfare, and then a bunch like this giant race of uh, cockroaches ended up ruling the world, and he's like the only living being, sentient living being left, um, and he goes kind of crazy, <laughs> but. Anyways, um, this one is Nighthawk number one. Really, really cool Bill Sinkovich cover. Um, this one is cover swiping uh, Big John's Dark Sky Paradise album cover. Um, it's a mostly black and white cover. You know, got that gritty. Um, I always, this is the way I think about Bill Sinkovich's art. I've said it before, and there's probably better people than me that can describe it. I'm not like an art major or enthusiast or a connoisseur um, by any means, but... I just I look at his stuff and it's like it's gritty it's 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 not sloppy is not the word but it's like it's organized chaos like it's it's just really like cool looking it's dark uh, it's kind of ominous um, and I just like his stuff so I got him to sign it down there in silver because I thought it matched really nicely with that um, black and white cover and again this cover is uh is bigger it swipes. Big Sean's Dark Sky Paradise album cover. Oh, I didn't mention um, this um, cover is, uh, well, actually, this book is the first appearance of Guillotine uh, and White Fox. It's, uh, and the, <laughs> if you guys don't know, Constance of Champions apparently is based on the uh, mobile phone game app. Um, and I just want to get another close up of this cover one more time. This cover swipes, uh, is it Riza or Jizza? I'm sure I'll probably say it back here. Yeah, Jizza's um, Liquid Swords. Jizza from Wu-Tang. If you guys don't know Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. All right, I had to get that out of my system. Next, I got Star-Lord number one. Really freaking sick-ass album cover. I, I, or <laughs> Well, album cover and um, cover swipe or homage or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a Howard the Duck, Kitty Pride, and Logan appearance. Uh, it does cover swipe Kit Cuddy's Man on the Moon, the End of Day album cover. Um, I got Bill to sign it down here in um, in bronze, and I really like this choice of bronze because the bronze, oh sorry, bronze uh, 
it really goes well with these kind of earthy tones. He's got the blues and the purples and the and the like maroon. It just it looks really good with it. I wish you guys could. I wish I had a better camera so I could show it off. But anyways, uh, finally getting into better some grade and some better grades. That that one came out at a nine eight. Um, and I believe this is my last Bill Sinkovich cover. Um, this one is Black Panther number seven. It is uh, a cover swipes King Mez's Long Live the King album cover. And um, I got Bill to sign it down here. And I like how on the bottom it says King T'Challa Long Live Wakanda. That's pretty cool. Um, got him to sign it in silver. Matches really good with T'Challa's all black background, his black suit, where it kind of blends into the background. But then you got the highlights of the silver. And of course, the crown is is almost like it's a white, but it's almost, I don't know, it's kind of cool. It's like a white light. Um, Looks really cool. Um, lucky enough to get that one in a 9.8. Um, yeah, and, and if you guys... I know... I hope I'm not coming cro across as, like, bummed out or, or, or overly disappointed about some of those lower grades that I showed in the beginning because, you know what? I'm, I'm, I really am happy and grateful to have them in my collection at all. I mean, those are my books. I love my books. I take care of my books. And now I get to show them off, and I get to put them up in my background whenever I'm uh feeling like showing those off and um you know when i say my background i, I mean my my back shelves here um i got them in my collection and they're mine so i'm pumped to have those books um there's a lot of guys out there who chase the nine eights and that's cool you know if that's your thug i mean as a matter of fact i'm gonna be good i'm gonna give a big shout out to my boy rag 718 shout out to rag man that's one of the hardest working dudes that i know dude steady brings home nine eights all fucking day the guy has an eye for nine eights he works hard and i know he does because he'd be hitting up shop after shop like man this this book is on the shelf but it ain't no good that's not a nine eight that's not meant and i'm like man that's crazy like that's that's cool that he has dedication and 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 um and he he works at his craft like that because i mean i i don't i can't i i just i could if i really wanted to but that's man that's it's tough that's really tough to be able to do to bring home Nine eight after nine eight. That's like hitting a home run every time you're up at bat. So shout out to Rag. Check him out. Sub him up. Um, check out his videos. Um, give him a, give him some likes and interact with him. He's a good dude. And uh, if you have questions, if you want to know how to steady bring home nine eights, man, he's a good dude. I'm sure he'll he'll give you tips. He he's just that kind of a guy. Um, so shout out to you, homie. Um, next, these are my last. Oops, you know what? These are my last three books. So I'm going to show this one off first because I promised you guys a connecting cover. This one is not a connecting cover, but this is the last one before I show my last two. This is Astonishing Ant-Man number one. This is, it has a whirlwind cameo, apparently. Uh, it does cover swipe. You guys already know who it covers swipes. Notorious B.I.G. Ready to Die album cover. Um, and it's hella funny because on the bottom here it says Ready to Shrink instead of Ready to Die. And instead of the Notorious B.I.G., it says the, the Astonishing Ant. And on the front, you guys know it's it's uh, Biggie as a baby sitting down in a uh, in his diaper. But you got instead you got uh, an Ant Man looking like he's a little baby. <laughs> um, and this was a cover by Mark Brooks. So I got Mark to sign it down here in gold. Um, I don't know. I thought it matched nicely because I always think that red and gold is a good contrast. You know what I mean? As a Niner fan, let's go Niners. I know we ain't doing all that great this year, but it's all good. Looks like things are looking, starting to look up. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I digress. Um, yeah, so I think it's a great looking book. Um, got a nice uh, signature on there. Um, it looks good. And it, it reminds me of one of my, uh, an album that I really enjoy listening to. I like Pac better. For all you East Coast guys, let me let you know. It's West Side Till I Die. Big, Biggie's cool. But, you know, Pac is the king. I'm going to just throw that out there one time. All right. Anyways. Next, I promise you guys some, a connecting cover. So, here it is. Uh, I got a big shout out to my homie Mario. Man, that's my brother right there. Good looking out on this, homie. He got me these and uh, he um, he shot these to me for free. And that's just something me and him do all the time. I get a couple of extras and I'll be like, yo, Mario, you want an extra book? Here you go. You know, I got a double or whatever. And he does the same for me. So, you know, good looking out. Appreciate it. I ended up shooting him. I had an extra of uh, Batman Dark Knight, one of the ones that I got signed by Bruce Tim. So I hooked him up with that, and he hooked me up with this right here. 
This is X-Men Blue number one. And this is the Unknown Comics exclusive variant. Um, it is uh, one part of a connecting cover variant, and I'll show those together right now. But first, I just want to mention this cover is done by uh, Mike McCone. I got him to sign it right here. I don't know if you guys can see, right there in gold. Um, I thought it would stand out a little bit better. Mario got his done in black. Um, he has these two covers as well, and we both got them slapped at the same time. Um, I think his stands out a little bit better, but I'm not tripping. It looks good to me. Um, we got an appearance by uh, Black Tom Cassidy. The Juggernaut, we got a Wendigo appearance, and um, like I said, this cover, it forms a single image with X-Men Gold number one. So, in the meantime, let me put up X-Men Blue number one, and it's actually paying homage to uh, to um, an old X-Men storyline where Magneto um, rips the, the adamantium out of Wolverine. So, we got all, and since Wolverine currently, currently in the Marvel Universe is not alive, he's dead, um... This is Old Man Logan, and let's show off the other side. This is a cover swipe, kind of, of Wolverine number 75. And this is X-Men Gold number one. Again, this is the Unknown Comics exclusive variant done by Mike McCone. I got my, uh, Mike signed it right here, right above, right above Wolverine's fist in gold. Believe it or not, this one actually stands out a little bit better than the other signature. Um, we got the Gambit hologram uh card here on the front it's actually drawn on there's not a real hologram card there but again he's just paying homage to that wolverine uh um number 75 where he gets the mag uh the adamantium ripped out by magneto fatal attraction storyline so i'm going to try to put these together to see if they can look a little bit better i'm going to mess with this camera which I probably shouldn't be doing, but let's see if we can get a better angle and some better looks at it without the glare. Again, one's a 9.8, one's a 9.6. Um, happy with those grades. You could see where they would connect if I had them not slapped <laughs> with like a two-inch gap in between them. But I don't know. I'm really happy with it. I love the way they look. I'm pumped off it. Um, and that's what I got for you guys. Just a little nine books real quick. Um, try to keep this under 20 minutes. So I'm going up to 17 already. Um, yeah, you guys, that's it. Oh, you know what I wanted to mention real quickly, too, is if I can mess, stop messing with my camera. Um, you know, I noticed I got my CBCS books back. I'm happy with everything, happy with most of the grades. I'm happy with the way they uh, turned out. There's no damage. I love CBCS that they be doing that. I was pumped last time off of their bags. You know, I said they stopped using the boxes. They still didn't are not using the boxes. But these these bags that I got in this round, these are more of poly bags. Um, the ones that I got last time were, and I think I have an example here. Um, you know, these, you can tell are a lot shinier. These are the Mylar bags. Um, I just happened to grab this book that was sitting up top. It's not my book, so I don't really want to show, show it off all the way. But, um, you know, you can see a lot more shine and a lot more con uh, shininess, basically, um, to the bag. Because it's a uh, it's a it's a mylar bag, and I thought that they had permanently switched to them, but I mean, you guys seen I got my uh, my previous CBCS order what like a whole week and a half ago, and now less than two weeks later, I'm getting a new shipment in, and I guess they ran through all their mylar bags. Maybe they just had a couple extra, and I got shot those um, on the strength. I don't know, but these are polys. And, I mean, it's cool. They're still the better bag even out of all of them, but I don't know. I was hoping. They, they Basically, what I'm trying to say is they spoiled me. I got used to those uh, My Lights, but we'll see what happens. I got a couple of books out, uh, six to be exact. Um, I shot another video. It's all of my um, my original art sketches that I got done on some books, a um, couple done by Eddie the Comic Guy, and I got some done by uh, uh, who else is on there? Howard Chaikin and uh, Arthur Saddam. So those are off to be graded. And we'll see how those come back. Hopefully I get some good grades. And hopefully I get some nice polys on those. But anyways, uh, I'm running long. You guys already know what it is. I wanted to show off some uh, some good books and and not glare. But you guys know what it is. It's Chalula's Comics. I'm going to quit messing with this camera. And I'll see you guys later. Until I see you next time, keep stacking hella comics.